All right, can we start from the beginning? Can you give us your name and your relationship to Jerome? My name is Charles Wilmore. I am the father of Jerome Wilmore. Jerome is my only son. After his mother passed away, it was hard for us. I couldn't be there for him like I would have liked to. And for that, I have deep regrets. My name is Roger, Southside representative. Jerome is my homie. I'm just here to hold it down for him because I know there's people talking about him and I don't like that. Jerome was a good man. He had home training and he was respectful. Real class act. Open doors for his dates. Actually, it was his hard work and determination that got him that job at that company anyways. It was there is where he met that girl. Can we get you anything before we get started? No, I think I'll be okay. Um, where do you want to start? Let's uh, start where the relationship began. friends call me Kay. I would just like to say to all the haters out there and the trolls who think that Sarah had anything to do with Jerome's mental well-being or lack thereof, uh, Jesus knows the truth. I cannot stand when people who don't have any factual evidence just believe certain things with, again, no evidence. Sarah is a good person and she's an amazing friend and she's fine as hell and I'm just not okay with what we're doing here today. It's, I don't see the point. So tell me, what do you think about their relationship? I ain't never like her. It, it was always something up with her. It's, it was just a bunch of red flags. I even suggested he leave her. Why? She was never home. Jerome always was so anxious and it just didn't sit right with me. I, I don't know, I mean, I'm usually never wrong about these things and I just, it just didn't sit well with me. My family and friends were always overprotective of me and boys. <laughs> um, I've known Crystal since about middle school, so she's been with me since we were kids, basically. And even though they complained, they still respected my decisions and they respected Jerome. So that's pretty much all I can ask for. Did you ever think about leaving him? I mean, of course I did. <laughs>
We have a drinking problem in our family. My dad, when he was troubled, his dad drank. I drank. I just wish I never drank around my boy. Maybe things could have been different. I just know down in the bottom of my heart, my son is a good man. He's a good man. May I ask why you were at Tyrone's house? Um, I was planning a surprise trip for us, and I figured his family knew what he would love best, so his cousin was helping me out. side of the story. This world is sick. You never really know who people are. It's so hard to see, especially as a woman. Jerome had no right to kill that man. He'll get what's coming to him. Please come home and turn yourself in. It's been two years. If you're still out there, we still love you. My brother still loves you. We just want you to come home. You will always be loved at home. I never thought anything like this could happen to me, and I'm still in therapy about it. I don't know. All I know is that I love Jerome. And I just wish that we could have figured this out. Sorry for your loss. Sorry for any convenience that we may have caused you today. I think we can stop there. Uh, thank you for speaking with us today. Uh, can we get the uh, mic off? I got it. 